What is up, friends? Greg Newmaster here with another action figure review slash commentary. Uh, today, I want to go over what I think are the three greatest Superman action figures, uh, 112 scale, of course, um, ever made. So this doesn't include hot toys. Um, they're just on another level and way too expensive for this guy. But today, uh, the six inch scale, six, seven inch scale, um, greatest Superman action figures ever made, top three. And uh, they're actually from recent history. So here I have uh, NECA's uh, Superman from uh, Superman vs. Alien. I have Mezco 112 Collective Superman. And I have the DC Icons Superman. So uh, let's get into it. I'm going to judge these figures by sculpt articulation, paint, and accessories. So let's get going. So first off, I want to talk about a little bit about the history of Superman. So uh, as most of you probably know, Superman is the archetypal, archetypical superhero. He is the archetype of all superheroes um, next to Greek mythology or um, biblical Christianity, Judaism, um, Superman is the archetypical superhero. He is the first. He is the most important. Um, it's him and Batman. Uh, created in uh, the 1930s um, by Joe Schuster and Jerry Siegel. Uh, two uh, Jewish guys um, wanting to create an awesome uh, superhero uh, a commentary on their times and the things that they had to deal with. Um, a very biblical character uh, sent from a, another world uh, from, from his father. This is the Christ uh, um, theology, mythology, um, whatever you want to call it, whatever you believe. But, you know, Superman is a Jesus-like figure. Um, which to some people uh, makes him boring because they feel that he's too perfect. So you can't make him exciting, which is, uh, which is sort of the problem with the new uh, DC films that have happened in the last um, five to ten years with Zack Snyder's Man of Steel and then Batman vs. Superman. Um, Henry Cavill sort of got a raw deal because... Um, they miss the essence of what Superman is and uh, most perfectly captured by the Christopher Reeve films. Um, so I'm going to base my joy of these figures and, and the rating of these figures based on, on that look, on the, the Christopher Reeves look. And uh, my favorite look for Superman is, is the Silver Age Superman um, because... You know, he started to look more like Christopher Reeves. Uh, but there's been so many artists over the years. I mean, we're, we're talking 1930s that uh, Superman has existed since. So it's it's um, the 2020s now. So it's almost 100 years. Uh, that's incredible that this character has endured for this long. Uh, one of my all-time favorite characters. One of the first uh, action figures I owned in the 80s. Uh, it was from the Superpowers collection. Uh, it was a little five-inch figure, maybe less, maybe four inches. Um, had a cloth cape, which I loved. Um, and uh, just a great series. So probably my favorite um, uh, artist, there, there's been a few great uh, artists who've drawn Superman over the past few decades. Um, I loved Dan Jurgens, so I started reading Superman in the 80s and the 90s, and um, if you look right there, that's a Jurgens drawing of Superman. Uh, looks just like Christopher Reeves. Uh, to me, that'll always be Superman. Uh, nobody can replace him, so that's a great artist, so I'm going to judge the figures based upon how much it looks like that there, so that's 
that's what I'm going with in terms of looking sculpt. Um, another great artist quickly is, um, this is Lionel Francis Yu. Oh, great Superman artist last few years. Uh, obviously, Jim Lee. I mean, anything Jim Lee does turns to gold except for DC New 52. <laughs> that was not uh, uh, gold. And this here... Another awesome artist I loved was Michael Turner. Uh, he was a DC Comics artist who passed away too soon. Uh, he passed away very young, which is very sad because he was phenomenal. I loved his style. So let's get into it. Uh, top three. Um, so coming in third place, uh, we have this guy here, which is the DC Icons uh, Superman action figure. Now, I'm going to make him third place for a few reasons. Uh, number one, we're going to go with the scale. Now, the DC Icons line was a great, great line. Um, they just missed the mark. Why? Because of the scale, um, number one. Two, because uh, they finally really streamlined the articulation of the figures and and this was better than uh, DC Universe Classics figures. Uh, they looked great, but the articulation isn't perfect. Um, for example, so we have ab crunch on this guy here, but we have no waist swivel. It's, it's in the top here, which is more realistic, but you can't really get a good turn there. Also, this D DC Icons figure has no thigh cut, uh, which is really annoying when you're posing. So we get the double-jointed knees, uh, we get the double-jointed elbows, uh, we get the wrists, all the stuff in the wrist swivel, um, the head, head barely moves, which is not good, that's not good for a Superman figure, goes back about that far, goes down about that far, but you know, when Superman's flying, for example, put him in the flying pose, his head barely goes back. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, we got the boot tilt, ankle tilt up and down, which is great. Uh, we got the ankle pivot. Phenomenal innovation for figures, might I say. And uh, like I said, double jointed knees and elbows, which is key. So this figure is awesome in many ways. Uh, the paint is more of the darker blue. So we got the darker blue and the cherry red. Uh, we got the logo there, which is the classic 90s logo. Um, as you can see uh, in this box right here, that's for the Mesco. But that's the classic, just a 90s logo of Superman. Um, prior to that, the 70s Superman logo was a little bit more rounded. Um, this is a little bit sharper looking. But this is uh, typically the, the logo that you would see. Also, um, the reason why this is number three is a rubber cape. A uh, great thing about this figure, this is the classic Superman design, um, the one that we've all come to know and love. They have the yellow emblem on the back, which is critical. Um, some of these figures don't have that these days, so that's great. But I hate the rubber capes. Um, I got spoiled from when I was a kid with the Superpowers figures because they all had cloth capes, which was amazing. And um, uh, I just don't like the rubber capes with the superheroes. See, um, so when I store this guy, uh, the paint rubs off from other figures. I try to cover them up, but like you get all these paint smudges because this rubber is really good at rubbing off the paint on other figures. So uh, what else is cool about this guy? You get, you get a couple accessories. You get two hands. Um, open hands for when he's flying, and he comes with Fortress of Solitude Helper Collects, um, which is his like uh, robot helper keeper of the Fortress of Solitude. So that's fantastic. That's a great accessory. So DC Icons, I mean they they almost had it. They almost had it. They just made uh, made them too small. Oh, and let's talk about the sculpt here. Look at that face. I am not a big fan of um, his face. 
It kind of looks like the Michael Turner face. It actually looks like the um, new Superman actor, um, Tyler Hoesch, or I'm not sure how to say his name, but he's the new guy who plays Superman on Supergirl, which I think it's disappointing that he's getting his own show. Um, people freaked out when Brandon Ralph came back and played Kingdom Come Superman. If you're going to make a show about Superman, that's the guy who deserves it. That's the one that all the DC fans want to see. But yeah, I'm just not a big fan of this sculpt of the face. Um, it's uh, His face isn't long enough. His cheekbones are kind of too big. Uh, just not... Just not my vision um, of Superman. So he gets number three. So number two favorite, which this is going to be maybe insanely controversial, maybe not, is actually uh, a true collector's item. And that is this guy here. This is the Mezco 112 Collective Superman. It is a gorgeous figure. Um, anything Mezco does is just unbelievable. And you got to give it to them. But with such a costly figure with all soft goods, which I thought I would like at first, but when I saw how expensive the figures are, um, I didn't like it because he's so fragile. This thing is so fragile. This, this cloth gets snagged really easily. Um, it, I'm, I'm just afraid to touch it, honestly, as a collector, I'm afraid to touch it because, uh, you can stain the fabric and there's not really any good ways to clean it without ruining the figure. Um, let's talk about the sculpt. So the sculpt kind of looks like the artist, um, Frank Quietly's, um, I think that's his name, Frank Quietly or Quigley, I think it's Quietly. Uh, he is the artist who did All-Star Superman. Great book. One of the best Superman stories ever told. Um, which is okay. It's okay for me. It's an okay sculpt. The face is alright. Um, the articulation is amazing. Head goes back that far. Goes down that much. I see I'm really afraid to touch this. We got the butterfly joints on the inside. Not too much movement there. Arms go all the way up. We got double jointed elbows. Just trying to be really careful because I don't want to damage this fabric because it's such a nice figure. Um, we have a little bit of crunch. Not much. Uh, we got torso can shift just a little bit. Uh, we got wrists. Uh, rotation. Pivoting. Um... A little bit of ankle tilt up and down, not much so. That's that was a really bad thing about the Mezco figures is their ankle joints are not very good. Uh, we got a little bit of ankle tilt, not too much. Like this figure is just so nice and it's so fragile. I don't want to mess it up. Um, so this uh, the emblem is metal and it's it's magnetized, or actually it's. It's metal, but it has a it has this magnetic bullet effect, if you want to do that. And I'll go over the accessories for this guy in a second. But I don't like that, though. I don't like how the emblem sticks out like that so much. It's just a, it's a little bit too much. Um, also, so let's talk about this design more. This is obviously the classic Superman suit, but Mezco always likes to put their own little twist on it, which is not good. It's not good. If they wanted to sell more figures, uh, they should go completely comic book accurate. So, you know, if this was the Mezco 112 Christopher Reeve figure, this thing would have sold like crazy. And it, it still sold a lot. I know that. Look at the back there. Um, look at how long and just beautiful that cape is. Love the cloth capes. And this has like a... This is like a sticker. Um stuck on there but like very fragile there's the back see how it's like sewn that's kind of sloppy looking the way they sew the suit on there on um, the other really bad thing about this is they they kind of put like painted trunks on which is so stupid 
Like, they're going to make us pay this much money for this figure. You know, they could at least sew another piece of cloth trunks on. And then the belt looks silly because uh, there should be two there should be two little belt loops right here if we want to get a completely accurate Superman design. Uh, also, the boots are... Uh, there's, like, little details on there. Like, like I said, Mezco likes to put their own twist on everything. Um... Like, the knee articulation, the leg only goes up that high, but you want to be really careful with it, like I said, because you're going to ruin this fabric, and I certainly don't want to mess up this figure in any way. There's the bottoms of the feet. Look, it even has, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's, like, nice tread on there. So they really, really go into the details on this figure. But yeah, so I, I just, I don't like this sculpt. Um, and, and some of you may think I'm crazy, but I don't like it enough to be the number one greatest Superman action figure of all time. I just don't. So let's look at this, uh, the accessories real quick. Um, the accessories are awesome for this figure. So you get an alternate head, uh, with heat vision eyes. You get two sets of hands. Uh, you get the straight fingered flying pose. You get some grabby hands. Uh, here's a stand in the background. Uh, you get a chain. Uh, this chain is bendy and you can wrap it around him. Get some kryptonite. Straight up. Need some kryptonite. Here's uh, the bullet effects. Uh, and then you get the Lost City of Candor. Uh, that's an awesome, awesome effect. Uh, awesome access accessory. Uh, you know, for the Fortress of Solitude sort of thing. So, oh, and the packaging, the packaging um, is worth showing off. Um, they just, I mean, these figures are so pristine when you get them. Just take a look at that. Like, this is, um, this is a sleeve. Oh, man down. But, um... Like, look, like, there's the back of the box. Uh, just beautiful. Like, these things are so nice. Like, I don't even want to mess up the box. Like, that's how nice it is. That's how, um, and it opens, like, it opens like this. I'm sorry, the camera's moving. It's magnetized, and that's, I think that's Jim Lee artwork right there of Superman on the inside. Um, sorry guys, very, very clunky video here, but yeah, it's just, um, oh man, okay, all right, <laughs> everything just went all over the place, so we're gonna try and just protect that figure there, make sure I don't mess it up anymore, okay. Which leads us into the number one greatest Superman action figure of all time, in my opinion. And that is this guy right here. This is the best I have ever seen. This is the NECA, uh, NECA alien versus Superman action figure. Why do I love this figure? Uh... Number one, we got to go with a sculpt. Just look at that sculpt. Look at that face. That is Silver Age Superman. That is close to Christopher Reeve. And there is a NECA uh, 112 uh, Christopher Reeve figure, but I don't like it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it looks a little off. So that's why it's not on this list. Um, also, I don't like the body sculpt either. But look at that. He's jacked. Like, the muscles are sculpted so well. This actually reminds me of, um, there was a line that came out a long time ago. It was a JLA Total Justice Superman. And they were, uh, it was a whole Justice League, actually. And they were so ripped and sculpted so well. Uh, there was not a lot of articulation, but they looked amazing. And, uh, this NECA Superman just has it. Um, just, look at... Look at how detailed that is. You got to appreciate that. That's like um, Michelangelo um, sculpt work there. Just phenomenal. Uh, 
And there's even like highlights of blue in the hair. Um, even though he has the black hair, it just looks so good. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the greatest. I mean, and like if you are a Superman lover, you must own this action figure. Uh, we got the traditional 90s uh, emblem. Like uh, we have the classic suit. Not this new 52 garbage, not this rebirth garbage. It is the classic Superman suit. You got the trunks, you got the circle, you got the belt loops appropriately on there. Uh, unlike the Mezco. Um, look at the details in the boots. Just great. There's no shading um, on the blue, but that's all right. It, it just look, it's sculpted so well, you don't even need shading. Um, Let's look at this articulation real quick. I don't know if you can look at his eyes there too. Piercing blue eyes. Just straight Silver Age Dan Jurgen, uh, Jurgen Superman. Just love it. All right, so articulation. Let's go with the head. Head goes up about that far. Up, up, and away. Uh, that's good for me. Look at that pose there. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, head goes up that much. Needs to go up pretty far. Uh, could go up a little bit further, but that's good enough for Superman. Uh, goes down that far. Uh, tilts to the right and the left. Um, got full rotation. Very awesome. Uh, shoulders go up about that high. Um, we got the double jointed elbows. We got... Uh, leg goes up that high. It goes up pretty high, actually. This uh, underwear, the trunks are real soft, so the leg can kick up that high. Uh, double jointed knees, uh, ankle, uh, pivot, and rocker. Look at that. We even have toe articulation. Ah, uh, awesome. Uh, can do a full split straddle. S straddle split for you gymnasts. That's a straddle. Um, can't do a, a split. That's a split. That's what I learned from uh, gymnastics. We got a thigh, thigh swivel. Very tight, but it's perfect. Everything you need it for. Um, let's talk about the ab crunch. Ab crunch goes down about that far. Does a back bend about that far. And uh, we got a waist cut. So we can spin the waist as well. Just phenomenal figure. Phenomenal. Uh, we got the beautiful, beautiful, soft goods cape. Like, you know, you got to have, um, if you're going to have a superhero action figure with a cape, it's got to be soft. None of this plastic stuff. Or I love it when they put the wires and the edges here and then you can kind of like pose the cape as well. Um... To me, for it to be awesome, it's got to be soft. So, uh, just stunning, stunning figure. Uh, what else comes with it? You get a uh, Superman effects head as well. So we get the angry face, um, which is awesome. Uh, he comes with heat vision effects. <laughs> There's this crazy gap in his face. We also get a... Another heat vision blast effect, an even longer one, if you want to use that. Uh, just goes in, be very careful. Yeah, it goes in just like that, if you guys can see that. So, boom! <laughs> if, you, if you want to do that with your figures, you know, it's, it's your life, whatever you want to do. Also get um, flat flying hands. You know, uh, like, look at the detail. Look at all those lines on the palms and the thumbs and the fingers. Uh, just very, uh, you can even see the fingernail indentations. Just great sculpt work. Awesome. It's like Renaissance artist, whoever made this NECA Superman. Now, my only complaint about this figure, my only complaint, and it would be perfect, is it's just a little too big so we have uh dc icons which is too small and then we have um mezco which is just about the right size uh and then we have the neca which is the perfect sculpt perfect articulation 
everything you could want as Superman, but it's just, it's seven inches. Seven inches. Um, and yeah, Superman is big, but like, let's compare him to uh, Thor. This is Marvel Legends Thor. By the way, this is the best Thor figure they've ever made. Um, this is the uh, anniversary Thor. So, I don't, I don't want Thor to fall over here. I'm just trying to hold him there, but they're about the same size. Uh, Thor is like supposed to be gigantic, close to seven foot. Um, Superman's about like six five, between six three and six five, I would say normally. So he is supposed to be big, yes, but he's not supposed to be that big. Um, so I just wish they'd really get um the scale right with these figures. But like I said, the figure is just so gorgeous, so well done. Um, if you are a collector, you must own this figure. Uh, it's expensive. It comes in the two pack with the alien. Um, the alien figure is all right. I I don't really. You know, I love the Alien movies. They were great movies, but I don't care enough about the action figures. But yeah, I mean, it's just... Um, to me, it blows the Mezco figure out of the water. Even though the Mezco figure is done with such care, such detail, such elegance, the cloth goods, I mean, uh, gotta applaud them for what they're doing, but... You know, I don't feel like I'm going to ruin this figure, the NECA figure, by touching it. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Top three Superman figures in order. Uh, number three uh, is the DC Icons figure. Uh, overall, just don't like the sculpt enough, and it's too small. Uh, number two, Mezco 112 Collective Superman uh, the design just isn't where it needs to be. Design and articulation. And it's just too nice. It's too nice and it's too fragile. Um, I, I, don't, I don't display this figure. I keep it in the box. I have to keep it in the box or it get ruined by dust or stains. Uh, if it fell over, it can scratch this and ruin its value. So, you know, if you're a collector, to me, it, it's not worth it if you can't really take it out and touch it. Um, number one best Superman figure ever made is the D, uh, is the NECA two pack alien versus Superman. This figure right here, just phenomenal sculpt articulation, uh, silver age looking Dan Jurgens Superman. If, if you love Superman, you must own this figure. You have to get it. It is just so awesome. I'm so happy to have it. I will keep it forever. Um, just, yeah, get it. Get it if you can find it. it it's expensive now, though. Um, aftermarket on eBay, probably, you're going to pay probably around 200 bucks. Um, so if you can get it cheap, um, you know, do it. But uh, it's, it's expensive. Uh, this guy is really expensive, too, um, right now worth a lot of money it looks like um but yeah number one NECA uh Superman versus Alien get it uh if you like this video please like and subscribe um I'm always up for a good uh, debate so if you guys have any comments or suggestions please leave comments I love to hear what you guys are saying um but yeah I think this is the greatest Superman figure of all time top three thank you very much guys have a great day